This first tutorial is part of the Google Tag Manager playlist, where you're going to learn how to incorporate many of the tools that Tag Manager offers into your site quickly and easily. This first video is all about installing Tag Manager and getting the container on your site without using a plugin. The next video is going to be using a plugin to do the same thing, and then after that we're going to get on into all the different components and include those onto your site and actually be able to reduce your plugin load because we're using Google Tag Manager. And we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe, then click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And with that out of the way, let's get Tag Manager rolling on our WordPress site. I'll see you in the screen capture. To get started with Google Tag Manager, all you need is a Gmail account and a website. So if you have both of those things, you're ready to rock and roll. If you don't have a Gmail address yet, don't worry about it. If you click on sign in or sign up for free, both of those will take you through a really simple Gmail creation process. If you do have a Gmail account, just click on sign up for free and then sign into your Gmail account and then you'll be instantly taken into the Google Tag Manager. Now I already had an account, even though that, that same process works if you don't have one, but I already had one so you see one listing in here already and you will see a create account link at the top. Normally for every web property you have, you create a new Tag Manager account to so keep them all separate and all clean that way. So we click on create account to create a new one. For the account name, you generally put your company name. So I'm gonna put in wpphd.com. You can choose to share data with Google and others if you want. It's anonymous, they say, it's up to you. Click on continue. Then you set up the container and the container is just the piece of code that we're gonna put on the website. The container is the core of the tag manager. You can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it wpphd.com. Keep it simple. Where are we going to use this? We're going to use it on web. If you're using this for an iPhone app, you'd use iOS. Or an Android app, you'd use it here. Or Google Accelerated Pages, you'd use this one. But I'm going to use web for just a regular website. Then click on create. Then we have terms of service that we have to agree to. And you can read through it if you like then either you agree or you don't. If you don't agree, you're not gonna get anywhere with Tag Manager, so I suggest you agree. And then it starts creating the actual account. And it presents us with the code we have to include in the website and where to include it. The first piece has to go as high as possible in the head section of your website. The second piece has to go immediately after the body tag. To get it as high as possible, you should use a child theme, which I have set up for my site already. I have a Divi child theme. And if you don't have a child theme yet, I've linked to a video down below where you can check out how to make a child theme. It's super simple. And in that child theme, we're gonna have to copy over the header file because we wanna make edits to the header file without worrying about updates to the parent theme deleting our Google Tag Manager. So to get a copy of the header.php file over, we go into cPanel or even FTP. I'm gonna open the file manager inside my cPanel. And then I'm going to navigate to my child theme Actually, no, sorry, to the parent theme. And we have our Divi theme here and the child theme here. To copy the header file, open the Divi theme, find the header.php file, and then click on, or right click on it, and then just like copy. And we can copy the files right into our child theme folder, which is this one. If you don't remember what that folder name was, you can go level up. Here's the folder name. So we can copy the header file right into that folder. Go into copy, add in the, the folder name, click copy files. I already have a copy there, so I'm not actually gonna click copy files, but when you click copy files, it's just gonna show up in there. And now inside our child theme, we have a header file. And we just open the header file in the code editor, and we wanna get that snippet of code, this one here, as high as possible inside the head section. So I just copy that code. The head starts here, as high as possible, would be in the very first spot. So I'm gonna paste it in right there. And Google Tag Manager code is asynchronous, meaning everything else can load while this loads. So it's not gonna slow down your site. I'm gonna click on save. No, I'm not. I'm gonna scroll down, because we have to put the second tag inside of the body tag, or right after the body tag, and that's usually in the header file as well. I'm just gonna search for it. Okay, so here's the body tag. And we gotta put the second piece of code right after the body. 
So I'm going to select all of this, copy, paste it in here. And then I'm going to click Save Changes. Now I'm going to click OK over here. And now we have our tag manager container in place. And we can start adding tags to our site. A tag is just a funny way of describing a piece of JavaScript code that third-party sites would include on your site to be able to integrate with yours. For example, the Facebook pixel is JavaScript that you would use to track people on your site so you can retarget them on Facebook. Now the power of Google Tag Manager is that you don't need separate plugins for all of those things. You don't need to include all the tags manually and all the different play pages you want them to be. You can do it all through Tag Manager using triggers and variables so they can fire at specific parts or specific times or specific pages. So you have a lot of flexibility that would take for a larger site a lot of time to actually execute on. Now in the tags, just to give you an idea of what you can do with it, if we click on new tag, then tag configuration, we get a list of all the things we can integrate through the tag manager. Analytics, that's a no brainer because it's a Google product and everybody uses it. AdWords conversion tracking is very popular. AdWords remarketing as well. Double click is another ad platform Google owns. Google optimize is used to split test your website content. Google website satisfaction surveys. You can do custom HTML, custom images. Now we get into the third-party tools outside of Google. AB Tasty is a AB split testing company. Adometry is actually a Google product. It's one of their advanced analytics and statistics engines. And if we scroll down to see some of the more popular ones, Crazy Egg, pretty popular for the online marketing space. Hotjar is as well. LinkedIn Insight integration, Bing Ads. And that's it for the ones that are automatically included. But with the custom HTML, we can create easily custom variables to do things like integrate the Facebook code. Now adding all of these things is a little more involved, so we're gonna get into that in other videos in this playlist. So that's how we get Tag Manager onto a WordPress site. Depending on your theme and how it functions, you may have to move some of the components a little bit. For example, you might not be able to put the section that goes in the head tag at the very top of the head tag. I have to move it down a little bit to get it to work. A little trial and error involved sometimes for some themes, but not for all of them. Some of them just work right at the very top. Either way, if you have any questions or problems, leave those down below the video. Hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe, then click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And next up is clicking one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you can get even better at WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.